What's going on guys? Mr. Bell here, watch to the end. Links down below in the description. <clears throat> Super thanks down below in the description, Twitter in the description, follow the Instagram in the description. Leave a comment, thousand likes, thousand comments. Share the video, share the video, share the video, watch to the end. Let's get right into it. Now, <clears throat> Bricks and Russia already know what's going on and what time it is. So check this out. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov says de-dollarization is already underway due to the U.S. government's rhetoric and policies. Did they, did they say it's already underway 20 years from now, five years from now to the delusional fucks who keep saying, oh, it's going to take 10 years for the dollar to collapse and look what's happening right now. They're delusional and they don't know shit. Now let's continue. Lavrov says countries within the BRICS alliance, countries within the BRICS alliance. It's not going to take 10 years for those applications to join BRICS to pass through. If the boys in red wanted to pass through, which C-H-I-N-A helped them to speed the process up because they want it done now. The Economic Coalition of Brazil, Russia, India, C-H-I-N-A, and South Africa are actively plotting a path forward without the U.S. dollar. According to a new report, right? Lavrov, a Russian official, since before the collapse of the Soviet, Soviet Union, says the next BRICS gathering in August will focus on how the alliance's new development bank can defend itself from potential U.S. hostility. Now, this is what Lavrov was basically saying. De-dollarization has begun both in practice and in conceptual speeches. Within BRICS, Brazil suggested that the upcoming summit in August, remember the summit that I was talking about where they were going to discuss the new world reserve currency terms based on distributed ledger technology. We already know that, that what that is. We already know what it is. The upcoming summit in August should give careful consideration to the task of protecting financial transactions within this assembly of protecting the new development bank from abuse of the dollar's uh, persistent role, and we are putting forward many other initiatives concerning the issue. Lavrov says Russia is adjusting to a campaign from the Western world that focused on cutting uh, Russia off from the global financial system, okay? According to the foreign Minister, the U.S. has purposefully sued instability in in other countries around the world to get what it wants, with the U.S. dollar being that at the crux of the strategy. So, <clears throat> however, Lavrov says Russia is adjusting to a campaign from the Western world that focuses on cutting Russia off from the global financial system. Okay. So uh, here we go. According to the foreign minister, the U.S. has purposefully, purposefully sued instability in other countries around the world to get what it wants. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Said that already. Uh, let me see. OK, here we go. They are releasing lists, lists enumerating the goods that should be banned for export to Russia. I'm not exaggerating now. There was a trio recently. An American, Britain, uh, and a representative of the European Union, right? Who had been touring Central Asian countries. So basically what he's saying is they're getting ready to get rid of the dollar right now. As you can see, they didn't say five years from now, 10 years from now, like all these people who still can't just click it through their goddamn brain. Because their emotions are in the way. The U.S. dollar is going to be here forever. But yet, uh, Saudi Arabia isn't even picking up the president's phone calls and purposefully ignoring him. And the U.S. Treasury says they don't have money. But you still think the dollar is going to be here. Delusional.